Hello, everybody. Welcome to my CDL Major 1 2022 predictions. My name is Jaren. Uh, just a little bit of background about me. Obviously, this is my first video on the YouTube channel, but I've been watching Call of Duty competitively since about the end of Black Ops 3, since I was like 13. I'm 18 now, um, you know, and I'm really excited to get into this. I don't really have a favorite team. I just have a lot of favorite players and just I'm not really biased towards anyone. But, you know, this is going to be this is gonna be fun predicting the major so far. But, yeah, this is my first YouTube video on the channel, guys. So make sure you guys comment down below your predictions, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to be bringing you a bunch of content. Uh, me and my team, Berserk Gaming, are going to be bringing you guys a podcast. We're going to be doing predictions, reactions, uh, like roundtable discussions, tier lists, anything you guys can think of, reviewing the major after the major's over, all that good stuff is what we're going to be doing. But anyway, guys, let's get into the first match of the tournament atlanta face actually excuse me london royal ravens gets like realize i'm gonna try and go based off the time that they're played so it's kind of in order of what you guys are gonna see during the tournament tomorrow obviously i'm recording this uh wednesday 8 39 uh so tomorrow is the f is the first match of the major so london royal ravens and los angeles gorillas and guys i'm gonna preface this video by saying i think every team in the league this year is phenomenal except for maybe the bottom two obviously ny i still are probably the worst team in the league but I think everybody in the league is really good this year. But so first starting off, I think Royal Ravens is one of the most underrated teams in the league, guys. I think that everyone is sleeping on them, even though how dominant they have been. I don't remember what their record is. I want to say four and one or three and two, but everyone's still sleeping on them. But London Royal Ravens are going to beat the LA Girls. I still think the LA Girls are good, but not good enough to beat the Royal Ravens, but I'm going to give them a 3-1 edge here to the Royal Ravens. Second match of the day, Atlanta Face versus Boston Breach. And the same thing with London Royal Ravens here. I think Boston Breach is one of the more underrated teams in the league as well. I think mean, they could honestly surprise anyone and win the tournament. They're kind of like a Florida where they could just absolutely go on a tear during a tournament and win the whole thing, but they could also just choke and get last place. It's kind of the inconsistent thing about Breach so far in the season. Obviously, there's only been a couple games, so we can't really judge a team's character so far in the season because there hasn't been that many games, but I think Atlanta Fays are going to win this one. I think they're going to 3-0 the Breach here, but uh, I, I don't think this is where Breach's tournament run will end. They'll, they'll make it farther through this tournament, but the match after that is going to be the LA Thieves versus Toronto Ultra. Now, listen, guys, I think the LA Thieves are probably top three right behind Texas and FaZe. And, and Ultra has been on kind of on the decline lately. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the LA Thieves here. I'm going to give I'm going to give Ultra a map, though. I think they will win a map for sure. But next up. Optic Texas versus the Seattle Surge. Now, Seattle Surge has kind of been on the decline since the league uh, started. Obviously, they, they got to the finals, the kickoff classic. They won their first couple of matches. They looked really dominant, but now Optic Texas is also on the rise, and Surge have kind of been looking bad lately in their last couple of matches. So that's why I'm going to go with Optic Texas with a 3-1 victory over the Seattle Surge in their first meeting, and that's going to complete the winner's round one. So I've got Phase 3-0, Optic 3-1, London 3-1, and Thieves 3-1. No Game 5s yet so far in the major one. First round of elimination bracket. These will start on Friday. The first matchup at 1.30 is going to be the LA Gorillas against the Minnesota Rocker. And I'm going to give the edge here. Ooh, this is going to be a close one. The Battle of the Teams in Purple. But I'm going to give this one to the Minnesota Rocker in a 3-2 Game 5 victory. I think they have more clutch uh, the Minnesota Rocker does. Obviously, they have attached. They have Major Maniac, two really underrated players and two of the most clutch players in the league so far. But, I mean, this game, guys, write it off. 3-0. New York Subliners are not good. I think they can be good eventually during the span of the league. I think they will. But so far, not really. Uh, so I'm going to go 3-0 Ultra there. But next up, we are going to do Boston Breach versus the Florida Mutineers. So... Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Again, battle of the inconsistent teams, but I think Boston is going to prove more consistent here with a 3-1 victory over the Mutineers. I really rate the Boston team. I think Nero and Capsule have really stepped it up and kind of shown that they belong in the league as long as Methods and TJ, who have proven before they belong in the league, and they continue to do that every single match they play. But Seattle starts Paris Legion. Obviously, Paris Legion bringing in Tom Gravity. I still have no idea who they dropped him for uh, or who they dropped uh, Gravity for if that makes any sense, but I'm going to still go with Seattle and I'll give, I'll give Paris two. I think this will be the first match to go to game five and Paris are going to go out here and shock some people. I think Tom gravity finally getting his chance. He's not going to go down without a fight, but I think he will go down eventually. So 
Next up, Saturday, first match of the day, I believe. Yes, it is. Minnesota Rocket versus Toronto Ultra. And I'm going to give the edge here to the Toronto Ultra. Obviously, they haven't been great so or, or since the kickoff classic, but I'm still going to give them the 3-1 victory over the Rocker just because of the sheer talent on that side. Um, but next up, the Boston Breach and the Seattle Surge. Now, this one, I think this one's a definite game five. But I think in the end, Boston Breach have the more clutch. I know the Iceman accuracy is on Seattle Surge, but I feel like Boston Breach are going to be able to take this one out game five. Again, Boston Breach, one of the most underrated teams in the game, I feel like. And I feel like they could go out here and be anybody in this tournament. But next up, we have a doozy for you. Oh, I just realized I did that match first when I shouldn't have. Oh, wait. No, I didn't mess it up. Eh, whatever. Um, next up, Atlanta Phase versus Dr. Texas in the second winner's round. Atlanta Phase Dr. Texas. Probably the two best teams in the league right now. I think these teams are going to make it to the finals. So that's a spoiler for the rest of the prediction video. But I'm going to give Atlanta Phase the winner's bracket edge on top of Optics 3-2. In a game five, obviously Atlanta Phase has been Optics kryptonite since the start of the CDL. They just can't seem to beat in. They beat them once last year in Cold War. But, yeah, man, I don't see I don't see tactics of speed in them, especially not in the first round. But once Optics get hot, I don't know who we could see in the finals winning that last matchup. So it's kind of a spoiler, but London Royal Ravens and LA Thieves, I'm going to go with the London Royal Ravens in a game five once again. I feel like London, they're just one of the best teams in the league, and people aren't seeing that in them. And this one's going to go with game five. It's going to be a thrill over matchup, but London's going to take it 3-2. I feel like the young guns on London are going to be better than the young guns on LA Thieves. But that is not going to stop this matchup of LA Thieves and Boston Breach from going to the LA Thieves in a 3-1 fashion. I feel like LA Thieves will, will power through after the loss and still be able to knock off the Boston Breach 3-1, eliminating Boston Breach at, I believe, the top six position, which, honestly, I kind of see them at the whole year. So it is what it is for them. And the last match for Saturday, Optic Texas versus Toronto Ultra at 7 p.m. with the lights on them in Texas. And listen, we saw them play in the regular season online. Obviously, one team was in Texas, one team was in Canada. And the hell F8 drama. But let's be honest, everybody. Optic Texas is the better team than Toronto Ultra. And I think they're going to 3 0 them once again, just like how they did during the regular season and the qualifiers for this. But next up, the rematch of the match that knocked off the Texas out of the kickoff classic. Thieves, Texas. Now, this one is going to be a banger because Thieves are still in the upper echelon. They're still in the top four best teams in the world. But Optic, since starting off on that slow start to Ravens and to Minnesota Rocker, are going to power through this one. They're going to get the 3-1 victory over LA Thieves and be able to make it to the elimination finals. And this game, honestly, I see FaZe with the 3-1 here. Atlanta FaZe is going to be kind of dominant. I feel like they might lose a control or an SND, which they've been this is kind of intending to do here against these teams, kind of the lower-ranked teams. Not really necessarily lower in London's case, but teams below them, which is pretty much everybody. But I still like feel the but I still feel like Atlanta Phase is going to be on top of the London Royal Ravens by the end of this one, which leaves the elimination finals to be Optic Texas and London Royal Ravens. And I think that Optic is going to get revenge in a 3-2 Game 5 thriller. Get the revenge for the regular season matchup. Let it happen. And now, I already spoiled this one. Grand Finals. Atlanta Phase, Optic Texas. Who do I think is going to win this one? I think it's going to go the distance. And in the end, the most clutch team is going to pull it out. And I believe that's going to be Optic Texas. Now, listen, you guys can call me a fanboy, but I explained to you guys at the beginning. I'm not. Optic Texas is one of the best teams in the league. They're top two behind a phase. But I feel like for some reason in the best of nine, Optic Texas is going to pull out the W against Atlanta phase. That's just my that's just my predictions. Leave your guys' predictions down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, sub, share. You guys know all this the stuff to do. I don't need to tell you. Just do it. Have a good day.